Hello friends, welcome to our Secrets of Meditation. I'm sharing from this book by Swami Kriyananda called Secrets of Meditation and Inner Peace. And if you'd like to purchase a copy, Crystal Clarity offers it. It's crystalclarity.com. Lovely book on the secrets of meditation and inner peace. And our secret for meditation this week is to focus your gaze and attention at the Christ center between the eyebrows, the seat of ecstasy in the body. You know, when Swami Kriyananda met his guru, Paramahansa Yogananda, he had uh, said to him that he had these desires for good food and this sort of thing. And Yogananda remarked to him, don't worry about those little things. When ecstasy comes, everything goes. So it's important for us to understand that the seed of ecstasy quite literally is the point between our eyebrows. And now uh, neurologists and doctors and scientists are you know, confirming, of course, what the yogis have been saying for millennia. But the prefrontal lobes of the brain, this is the executive center of the brain. It's the most uh, highly developed part of our brain. And in fact, when people meditate and they cultivate this area of their brain, it has uh, a, a calming effect on the limbic system, which is the fight or flight part of our brain. So that when we're living more at the Christ center, we're living more in our super conscious self that quells uh, all the the reactions that we have if someone yells at us that we yell back or whatever it may be that that part of our brain begins to calm down as we awakened uh, this christ center so i'd like to offer um, a few ways that we can do that and one simply is when you meditate to face east. You know, the yogis, uh, Paramahansa Yogananda, along with the yogis for millennia, have counseled this. It's in the Native American tradition, too. All good things come from the east. When they would make their teepees, they would make an opening to the east. So when we meditate, you can try this. Meditate with your altar at home so that you're facing east. And what's interesting is the body has direction has directionality excuse me the top of our head is north the base of our spine is south and the point between the eyebrows is the star of the east this in fact is the star that the three wise men were uh, following and the real christ is that infinite christ consciousness that is within each and every one of us so one simple way just by facing east, setting up your altar so that you're uh, receiving because there are divine vibrations that are flowing and when we face east, we're in a more receptive fashion for them to come to us. Um, secondly, what you can do is to focus your gaze uh, calmly at the Christ Center is the thumbs up exercise. So what you can do is Try this with me. Uh, bring your thumb up in front of you so that you're gazing at your right thumbnail. And then keep so that your chin's parallel to the floor. You've got good posture with the chest uplifted, the back's relaxed and straight. And then bring your thumb up so it's more about 45 degrees, maybe closer to the crown of the head. You're keeping your chin parallel and you're gazing at your thumb. And then continue the upward gaze and close your eyes and you can relax your hand down. So having the physical gaze uplifted helps us to awaken the Christ center. Where our attention goes, that's where our energy flows. And so try this exercise uh, before you begin to meditate so that you have the, the proper um, posture for your eyes. You don't want it to be a strain though. Um, nothing you should do in your yoga practice should uh, be a strain. It should be like a, 
effortless ease. So yes, you have to put out self-effort and energy, but you don't want to uh, force and, str over and strain so much that it's uh, causing discomfort. There was a time when Swami Kriyananda was uh, meditating and he was developing headaches and his guru said, you're trying too hard. It should be very natural. Just like when you go to sleep at night, you don't try to go to sleep. You just fall asleep. It's natural. You want to feel that same natural lightness of being with meditation and with this focus at the Christ Center. So try and think of it as attention without tension. So you can strike that balance. Now, there's three other, um, excuse me, two other simple exercises you can try. One, uh, try with me, take your right index finger and place it at the point between your eyebrows. Close the eyes and gaze at the Christ Center, feeling that awakening by holding your finger there. Then relax the hand down and keeping the gaze uplifted. Try to feel that opening at the Christ Center. And you can open your eyes. So this is another simple exercise you can do throughout the day to help you bring you back to the Christ Center. Remember that what Yogananda was sharing was original Christianity. And that is coming back to our own origin, our own self, our own higher self, which is the Christ consciousness, that we are all children of God, and we all have this potential to awaken that infinite nature, if we would but make the effort. And so this is how we can begin to do it, just by focusing here. Um, lastly, one other exercise you can try to awaken the Christ Center is knitting your eyebrows. Just like this, like you can squish the eyebrows together, knit them, and then relax. And gaze calmly with attention at the Christ Center. So let's begin our guided meditation now, bringing the hands in front of the heart. You can offer a silent prayer. to God in whatever form you hold dear as your mother, as your father, as your friend, your beloved, to the great masters, saints of all religions, to the infinite Christ consciousness, to bless and guide our practice of meditation. so that we may share these blessings that are desperately needed in the world. Om. Peace. Amen. Let's start by inhaling and tensing the body. <sighs> Exhaling and relaxing. Again, inhaling. Tensing. <sighs> Exhaling and relaxing. One more time. Tensing with conscious will, <sighs> relaxing and feeling. Now let's try the thumbs up exercise, opening the eyes, gazing at the thumbnail, bringing it up about 45 degrees or so, continuing to gaze upwards, closing the eyes, relaxing the hand down. Trying to hold the gaze steady when you begin to meditate. 
in the first few minutes. It's can the eyes can flutter, feel that they're restless. This is why deeper and longer meditations are necessary to get into that calm poise. So continue to hold the gaze uplifted. Now let's try the other exercise, bringing the forefinger, the right index finger to the point between the eyebrows. Gazing there deeply. Feeling that you're receiving not just a physical touch, but a blessing from Christ, from the Great Ones. Relax the hand, continuing to have the gaze uplifted. Calmly there, attention without tension. Now let's knit the eyebrows, awakening the Christ center, tensing there, relaxing. Let's do that again, knitting the eyebrows. Relax. One more time. And relax. And now let's listen again The secret of meditation is to focus your gaze and attention at the Christ center between the eyebrows, the seat of ecstasy in the body. So as you gaze at the Christ center, try now to tune in to that ecstatic joy of God. Try to hold yourself perfectly still in joyful anticipation, receiving the infinite Christ consciousness as you gaze at the point between the eyebrows. Let's meditate for a few minutes in silence now together. found that your gaze has dropped, just lift the eyes back up again to the point between the eyebrows. Feel that with the deepest love, you're offering your heart at the feet of omnipresence, at the feet of the infinite, the point between the eyebrows.
let's close our meditation sharing the blessings we've received feeling our connection with all life as yogananda said center everywhere circumference nowhere feel that you're touching all life all space through your infinite expanded soul self. Let's bring the hands in front of the heart in prayer, bringing to mind friends, family, anyone you know in need of healing. Let's also pray for our planet, for God's light, peace and harmony to touch all receptive hearts. Love and goodwill to all. As we rub the palms together vigorously, infusing the hands with the heart, and then holding the palms out turn, let's chant Om three times. Om. Blessings, friends. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.